So the city of Cape Town is today marking the 1,100 officer milestone uh, reached by the Law Enforcement Advancement Plan, or LEAP, uh, which, seeks to, which seeks to increase the safety resources and crime hotspots around Cape Town. Now, according to the city, the Law Enforcement Advancement Plan has seen a significant reduction in murder rates in areas like Nyanga, Cryfontein and Kailicha. The city and Western Cape government are set to take uh, the next steps towards safety with LEAP deployment a milestone in Bishop Levis. Uh, the revamped facility will act as a LEAP base in the community and is also free of load shedding due to uh, renewable energy infrastructure installed at the facility. Uh, to, for more on this, we are now joined via Zoom by the City of Cape Town Mayor, uh, Mayor Jordan Hill-Lewis. Mayor, a good afternoon to you. Thank you so much uh, for your time. How has this law enforcement advancement plan uh, really turned things around in the city since it, it's been put in place thank you it's nice to be with you what what we've been able to do is insert more than a thousand one hundred a thousand two hundred and thirty eight to be exact new officers into the worst violence hotspots in the city and they work hand in glove with saps officers on the ground and they do basic visible policing they uh, stop uh, suspicious looking vehicles they search they chase uh, suspects when crimes have been committed and they have amazing success they've they've arrested thousands of criminals they've taken hundreds of guns off the road off the streets uh confiscated lots and lots of drugs and and the the, the biggest success is that we've seen the murder rate in those top 10 hotspots coming down uh, significantly which which means lives saved so it is a great it, it's basically filling the visible policing gap that where where saps just doesn't have the manpower and the resources to do it uh, we are working side by side with them and filling that visible policing gap yeah and now leap is being deployed to bishop levis what influenced the decision uh for that particular area as an operational base we we base it purely on the crime stats uh, so it's the 12 worst crime stat areas in the city. And that is Kailicha, Nyanga, Philippi, Crossroads, Bishop Davis, Mannenberg, Hanover Park, uh, Cryfontaine, Mitchell's Plain, uh, uh, Philippi East we've just added as well. So it's, it, we, we base it purely on the crime stats. It's, it's data-led, it's intelligence-led. And so we want to address all of our efforts and our investments in those worst murder and crime, violent crime hotspots. The, what we've added today as well is the is the the station that you spoke about that's a first for us right uh, it's the first leap uh, essentially like a police station where officers can gather they can plan their joint operations with saps they can uh, you know they can use it as a as a, a base in the community yeah and 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 at the center of this as well has been the the fact that uh, the facility itself isn't reliant on our power grid Mm. Yeah, that's very nice to see. Well, I, I went to look at it this morning for the first time. Uh, they've been constructing it the last few months, and it's an awesome facility. It's It's got a full solar system, so it's totally independent of the grid. And the idea behind that, because we've got the CCTV camera uh, monitoring station, the screens there, we've got officers doing central dispatch there uh, in radio communication with all of our officers on the ground, we want them to be up and running 24 hours a day without any regard to load shedding. So even if there is load shedding, this, this facility can continue operating and all of our officers can continue to do their, their important safety work. Yeah. Well, talk us through some of the investments beyond the LEAP deployment. Um, in, so in other sort of safety aspects, I believe quite a bit in, of an investment in tech. Huge investments in tech. Uh, I, I really am very excited about some of the tech investments we're making. That includes dashboard cameras for all of our vehicles, body cameras that are that will be worn by all of our uh, officers. Uh, we're going to have drone uh, surveillance technology in the city to help our officers on the ground, particularly in the hotspots, so to give them better intel, so that they can track suspects and see, uh, you know, have eyes on on crime as it's happening. Then we've also got the gunshot location technology. We've got new vehicles. Uh, all of that that new tech, uh, 60 million rand in new CCTV cameras, all of that coming this year. 
Uh, so we've made a huge investment in this budget in, in, uh, in crime fighting and crime prevention and, uh, you know, to, to keep these, these worst affected communities safer. Yeah. Well, South Africa as a whole really has been grappling with uh, a significant crime in, I mean, we've seen murders as well. So there's a need to start the discussions of uh, really starting to evolve our policing powers and really starting to share those resources. I mean, what's the discussions that yeah. you are having with national government at this stage? Yes, I think you're absolutely right. I think the, the success of the LEAP program shows that uh, policing shouldn't be left only to the SAPS, that Metro Police, law enforcement, traffic officers should have much more policing powers uh, devolved down from national to the, the city and the province so that we can start to pick up some of that slack and fill that gap that SAPS is just not able to, to do because of the incredible shortage of, of resources they have. And I stress again, we work really well in these, in these 12 areas, very, very well. We work mm -hmm. with SAPS. Uh, and they will be the first to tell you that they just don't have the manpower to do what our LEAP officers are doing, to go walking in groups down, down streets, to be constantly out on patrol 24 hours a day searching vehicles and and uh, looking for gangsters and so on they just don't have the, the the kind of manpower so if we had more of these powers devolved down to the city uh, and to the province we could really do a lot more to to impact uh, crime and make it a safer yeah. place yeah well let's leave it there may i thank you so much for your time we'll be watching closely what leap is able to achieve there in the western cape uh, mr uh, jordan hill lewis the mayor of the city of cape town